Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use AMD's FSR 3 frame generation tech for absolutely free in Cyberpunk 2077 running on Steam Deck having SteamOS. I'll be using a program called DLSS Enabler. I've already explained its functioning. So in this video I'll be covering its setup process for this game. Some FSR 3 frame generation related artifacts are produced in this game. For example when the vehicles are moving at high speeds. Good thing is that we can fix these artifacts using some other mods. I'll be showing you the complete process. So first let's download the DLSS enabler program. Head to this Nexus Mods website, I'll give its link in the description. You can download the program for absolutely free, click on files here. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just download the latest version of DLSS enabler, click on manual download. Click on download, then click on slow download here. DLSS enabler includes multiple mods, it installs and automatically configures these mods for us. Now I own the Steam version of Cyberpunk 2077, installed it on DEX internal SSD. Just select the game in your Steam library, show you the directory where we need to install DLSS enabler. Right click manage then click on browse local files. This is the games installed directory. Just open bin folder, open x64 folder. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler, there is the games exe file. And just go to downloads. Look for DLSS enabler exe file, there it is. I'll be using Proton Tricks now to execute this exe file. You can download Proton Tricks for absolutely free from Discover Store. Double click, select Cyberpunk, click on OK. Wait for the next window to pop up, it can take up to 6 to 7 seconds. There you go. Just check, select the default Winepix option. OK. Now check this option, run Explorer, click on OK. Wait for the next window to pop up. This one. Now open my computer folder. Open Z drive. Basically internal storage. Then open home folder. Open deck folder. Open downloads folder. Look for DLSS enabler setup file. There it is. Double click. Execute the exe file. Installer will start. I accept. Next. Next. Need to specify the directory where the game's exe file is present. Click on browse. I have installed the game on index internal SSD. Just open Z drive. Open home folder. Open deck folder. Open dot local folder. Open share folder. And then open Steam folder. And there it is. Now open Steam apps folder. Open common folder. There is Cyberpunk 2077 folder. Open bin folder, open x64 folder, this is the directory. If even you have installed the game on text internal SSD, you can use the same directory. I'll give it in the description of the video. Ok. Next. Select the first option. We'll be installing Nukem 9's universal DLL version of DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod. Select this option as well. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Deck comes with an AMD based GPU. Next, install. That's it. All of the mods have been installed. Finish. Close this window. Now go back to the games directory where you install the mods. Hey, look for a registry file. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. Need to execute this registry file. Not to revert its changes. Just need to execute this registry file. Restore NVIDIA signature checks. Create a backup of disable NVIDIA signature checks. Create it here in the desktop area. It will make it easier for us to execute this file using Proton Tricks. Run Proton Tricks. Double click Cyberpunk. Select this option. Select the default Mind Tricks. OK. Now select this option. Run Regitech. OK. Wait for the next window to pop up. There it is. Just click on Registry here. Then click on Import Registry File. Navigate to the desktop area. Just go back. You'll be seeing this window. Open Z drive. Open home folder. Open deck folder. Open desktop folder. There's the registry file. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. Double click. Click on OK here. That's it. Need to add a launch option to the game. Just open Steam. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click properties. Add this launch option. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. For this game, I'm using this Proton compatibility layer, G Proton. 
version 9-7 we are ready to run the game the frame generation mod will be working now but there will be a lot of graphical artifacts just show you this can I take my cosmic bytes Stellaris gamepad to steam deck via bluetooth mode performance tab I own the LCD variant of steam deck overclock its display from 60 to 70 hertz frame rate limit and refresh rate set to 70 in game settings I am basically using the low preset you can see resolution scaling set to DLSS it's basically XCSS version 1.3 using its performance preset frame generation enabled scroll down motion blur disabled go to medium settings video settings 800p resolution vsync disabled we are in driving a vehicle just observe the bottom edge of the display you can see some flickering going on frame generation related artifacts now i'll show you how to fix this issue frame generation is definitely working fps is within the range of 60 to 70 these artifacts are very annoying you can download all of these mods for absolutely free i'll give their links in the description of the video First we have frame gen ghosting fix. I'll be downloading an older version of this mod which does not require red script. This is the version 1.4b 16 is to 10 aspect ratio index aspect ratio. Just click on it. Click on manual download. Then click on download here. Then click on slow download. Next mod disable vignette and or sharpening. I'll be using this mod to disable vignette only. Just click on files here. Then click on manual download under disable vignette. Click on slow download. Next mod, crouch vignette effect remover. Click on files here. Then click on manual download under the latest version of the mod. And then click on slow download. These are the three zip files that I just downloaded. Transfer them to another folder name cvpunk fg fix does not matter you can name this folder anything you want you just need to extract the archive folder present inside each of these zip files there's the archive folder extract it second zip file again another archive folder and we have the third zip file another archive folder now keep opening the folders present inside the archive folder until you reach the last subdirectory. There you will find three archive files. These are the three archive files. Basically the mods that we will be using. Go back. Copy the archive folder. Now open the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click manage browse local files. This is the directory where you need to transfer the archive folder it's already present in this directory right click paste one folder write into give the permission that's it mods have been installed switch to steam os gaming mode ready to run the game first i'll run the game without frame generation using the same settings as before just disable frame generation for the time being apply we are in standing right outside V's apartment building. Here FPS is around 35 to 40 and gameplay is a bit choppy. So bright. Daytime. I enable frame generation. Toggle it. Apply. Return to the game. The FPS increased to around 70. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Input delay is not a problem. 60 to 70 fps so smooth good thing i overclock dex display from 60 to 70 hertz i'll engage in combat now be driving the vehicle game's hurt is not flickering this game supports dlss frame generation officially newcam 9's dlss g2 fsr 3 mod basically replaces it with fsr frame generation Switch the camera, Just press the right d-pad button, observe the bottom edge of the display, and speed up the vehicle, narrow passage, 
Yeah, no flickering is going on. Oh my god. Cops are on me. Other mods are also working. Those artifacts are gone now. In some intense areas, you will see the FPS dropping down to as low as 45. Nothing extreme. It's a very smooth experience driving around 70 FPS. And the cops are on me. Oh my god. Made in combat again. Throw a grenade. Explosion. Good experience. Can I press up the generation installed on Steam Deck and Cyberpunk? Yeah. Trying to land a headshot. I got it. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.